Ooh, that was close. That was like flash and bang all at the same time. That was close. So we're in the new Sierra Designs full moon tent. Uh, it's the edge of a storm here, so. See if we can uh, test out this tent. A good size vestibule on this tent. Look how the door opens from one side and then kind of over. Makes getting in a little easier. Getting in and out a little easier. So same thing on the other side. Two door, two vestibule. kind of getting spotty storms all around popping up and we're just right on the edge of a, of a storm there. It's got a pretty good red cell to it. But let's see what kind of rain we get. It's starting to pick up a little bit more now. So I just set this tent up probably an hour ago just to uh, just kind of check it out. I got it in a few weeks ago. I just haven't really had a chance to set it up and check it out yet. But it's been super hot here in Texas. Super hot, so I haven't really had felt like getting out in the heat and messing with this thing. With all the storms around, it's kind of cooling off right in the area, so I went ahead and set it up. And uh, I thought maybe we might get a little rain, so why not test the sucker out in the rain for the very first time we set it up. Very easy tent to set up. It's really easy. We'll do a uh, first look video on this thing and show you all the little, all the little goodies the tent has. So I did not get to, uh, I did not get to uh, stick out the guy lines, so hopefully the wind don't get too crazy. So you can kind of see the tent flexing around a little bit. I don't have it guyed out. So it's just the stakes on the, the four tent pegs on the corner, and then two on each of the vestibules. So, as long as the storm don't get too hairy, we should be fine. We got one roof vent up here. It's just on one side, and I do have it open. So far, there's no moisture coming in through the roof vent, so that's good. I'll probably reach from in here and close it. There's quite a bit of air coming through there. Lots of air coming through.
It's like 84 degrees right now. It feels really good. It would have been like 100, 105. It's just been crazy hot here. Too hot to camp for sure. Tent camping anyway. Or hammock camp. For any kind of primitive camping. So far the tent's waterproof. It does have heat tape seams. I'm not sure even the waterproofing yet. I haven't really gone over the specs of this tent yet. But Sierra Designs, they, they usually put out a pretty good product. So. Looks like the water is beating off the rain fly pretty good. There's our roof vent. So they make two versions of this tent. Uh, I think, well, there's a two person and a three person. And then, so this Sierra Design tent is called the Full Moon. So it's a full rain fly all the way around. And then the other model is, I believe it's called the Half Moon. And I think basically it has the full rain fly on one side and then a half rain fly on the back side, something like that. I'll have, to, I'll have to put it in the screen here and show you the difference between the two. But I wanted the full moon because I wanted a, a full rain fly all the way around for uh, just better for all around, you know, camping seasons. But I guess with that half moon, maybe it's called the half moon. Or did I say that already? <laughs> anyway, so the other the other one that's part of this lineup, uh, it's probably a little lighter than weight because it has less material for the rain fly. So I guess that's always a good option if uh, you want to go a little bit lighter. But like I said, I don't know the specs of this tent. I haven't really dug into it just yet. But it seems pretty lightweight for a two-person. It's a small, minimalist two-person tent. Well, it's raining pretty good now. So we're getting a pretty good test here. I didn't even put a ground sheet under this tent. I wasn't sure how long I was going to have the tent up. I just came out here and just put it up real quick. And I never really got back out here and then it started raining. Like, well, let's get out here. But this tent has some really nice features with the with how you stake out the vestibule. It's a little cold. Let's get some tension on this. A little more tension on here. All right, where you at? Where you at? Now I have to show you that too. But uh. Got some nice tension lines. So you can really get a get a tight pitch on the vestibule. It's raining pretty good. That water is beating off pretty good. I like how we're getting uh, some good airflow through there and we're not getting any moisture coming in so pretty good roof bent design 
allowing airflow in and keeping moisture out there in the storm. So that's pretty good. We've got a little bit of pulling right here. That uh, stiff piece of material, I call it a torsion bar, to prop the vent open, kind of pushing that material down. So we get a little bit of pulling there, but not too much. At least it's not back flowing into the tent, so. Wind picking up a little bit. So I probably need to uh, pull a bit more tension on the rain fly there where it hooks into the ground state. But it's getting kind of almost touching the tent body. This is a pretty good little storm here. This tent is holding up really well, especially not being guide out. There's four guy out points, and like I said, I didn't get to put I didn't get to stake them out. Now the tent hasn't really flexed around really bad. Well, we know this thing is waterproof, that's for sure. Well, this tent is staying completely dry. Nice tent, I kind of like it. Well, that's about all we're going to get. Uh, thunder and lightning. We had some heavy rain. Still raining pretty good. Looks like a pretty solid tent here from the Sierra Design. As far as waterproofness goes, Yeah, we're not getting anything through. No more sure at all coming through. Not bad at all. One little disappointment that I have with the tent is it doesn't have two-way zipper on the rain fly, or on the, not the rain fly, on the vestibule door. I kind of like having the, where you can unzip it right here and have that flap open a little bit. <clears throat> Two-way zipper is pretty nice and handy. But it doesn't look like this tent came with it, so neither one of the doors has it. That's okay, it's not a deal breaker. Just something nice that I like having. It's really good, you can like just open that up, throw something in the tent real quick without having to undo the whole door. Well, this tent performed really well in the storm. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to do a first look video on this tent to show you all the features of it. So I'm inside the vestibule. I have the door, mesh door closed. <clears throat> vestibule door closed on the inside here. So it's pretty good to, I mean, I am crouched down on my hands and knees, but Pretty good size vestibule. 
All right, let's get out here in the rain. That's some cold rain. It's a little cold. Let's get some tension on this. A little more tension on here. All right, where you at? Where you at? Oh. A little bit more. There we go. A little bit more there. Go ahead and close this roof vent. Very cool. Not bad, not bad. Get a little tension on this. Oh yeah, see it? That's a nice feature right there. 